Hello and welcome to the video about resource metering. Resource metering uh, first came out in Windows Server 2012 on Hyper-V and it of course remains in Windows Server 2012 R2 and it's a cool feature that will let you uh, as the name suggests meter your VMs or monitor them. So then you can use, for example, for billing your customers or maybe for yourself as a monitoring solution. Resource metering will show you different statistics like CPU, RAM usage, disk usage, network usage. So actually it's very nice and it's also integrated in Hyper-V. If you want to enable resource metering, you have to know that this is enabled on a per VM basis. So you can't enable it uh, for all your VMs with one command. You have to enable it for each VM. Let's try, of course, to enable it for our only VM that we have, test VM1. And it should now be enabled. To see the details about this VM, you can use measure VM and you will get uh, of course in our case the vm is shut down so you don't get really much but you will get you see average cpu ram max min ram total disk and uh, so on you can also run this command with uh, fl star for example to show all uh, of the properties that it uh, returns to you and uh, like this, you will actually see that you get a little more than what you see uh, here. For example, you get a lot of uh, disk statistics, not just how much the disk is used. So this will help you build your customers uh, for disk usage, for network usage, RAM and CPU. It's actually pretty interesting. If you, for any reason, want to reset these counters at any time, you can use this command and this will reset the counters. And if uh, for a specific VM you don't want metering enabled, you can use disable uh, VM resource metering. And now uh, you will not get anything from this VM anymore because it's disabled. So this was it for this quick video about resource metering with PowerShell. Leave a like if you liked it, share the video, also consider subscribing and I will see you in the next one.